You know what? There has got to be a better way to stretch for the splits. Let's see. Hmm. Well, that seems like a good idea. All right, Ray Liotta, you know what that means. Grab a leg and start pulling. Hello, lovely humans, and welcome back to my channel, Thighs the Limit. I gotta tell y'all, I am so excited about this video today. This is one that has been months in the making because it took me forever. So, I have been able to do the splits way back a million years ago in high school, you know, the days of my youth and early college. And it was something I was really freaking proud of because even back then, I was a pretty big girl, but I could still do the splits. I stretched almost daily and it got to the point where I could just drop down in, that's supposed to be the splits, drop down into them without even stretching first. And let me just say that, you know, once I got into my thirties, like I'm barely there, I'm 31. But once I got into my thirties, those days were pretty much long gone and it kind of sucked. <laughs> what I really wanted was to get back to being able to do the splits. So that is why I decided to make this video and document the entire thing. So I've actually been working on this video since October, just because it has taken me that long to get stretchy enough to get back to the splits. And it's been kind of cool because of course I get to see my progress in doing the splits as I'm editing this, but even cooler than that, I'm getting to see the difference between when I started and now in terms of my weight. And it's been kind of an eye-opening experience because let me tell y'all, I didn't like know how much weight I'd lost until I started seeing pictures. Like my husband sent me this one last week and I believe it was sometime last year, I think at the beginning of last year when that was taken. And it was just shocking to me. I was like, am I like suffocating in my own love handles? but they're kind of leaving, like, it's leaving, woo. I'm very excited. So back to the splits. Let me just tell y'all that it drives me absolutely crazy when people think that just because they are a certain weight that there is no sort of fitness goal that they can achieve. Like, oh, get skinny and then you can work on your goals. Worry about the rest. No, 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 mm -mm. we don't do that here. Here's the deal, you can be fat, and flexible not skinny and flexible like yeah you can do that too but you don't have to wait till you get there which is what i wanted to do so what i did in terms of you know all of this <laughs> i started doing the stretches that i had shown y'all in my stretch with me video which i will link in the description box below i started doing those as regularly as i could and for some weeks it was you know five days a week some weeks it was two because it frankly, depended on my school schedule. Y'all know the struggle. I'm not going into that. But I did those stretches every day. I also started incorporating a stretch routine that I found on YouTube that I have absolutely loved. And hers are a little bit more active. It's a 10 minute video that kind of helps you get down there. And I basically did that whenever I would do my regular stretches as well. I will also link that one down below. In just a second, I'm going to show you guys what the stretches were that made the biggest difference for me in terms of getting closer to the ground. Hi there. So I stopped for just a second to put on something very, very important for this part of the video. Pants. Now, let me just preface this by saying that I am not a doctor yet. And when I do become one, it will be a doctor of physical therapy, not an MD. So if you guys want to try this at home and this is something that is very out of your comfort zone, please do talk to your doctor first. I'm not trying to get anybody injured. So this is just what I do for stretches and you can take it with a grain of salt or not. There were some pretty specific ones that I thought helped me the most for being able to do splits. So basically the first one, I would go into kind of a lunge and I'm pushing down at my hips. And so you can kind of feel it pull at your pelvis. If it is hurting, you are pulling too much or pushing too much. And what I would usually do if I had enough time would be hold this for 45 seconds 
Some days I just didn't have that much time, so I'd hold it for 30. And then I'd go in the other direction. And the big part with this is to keep my back straight. I don't want to just hunch over. Like, yeah, you can feel a little bit of a pull in your hamstrings, but if you keep this leg straight, your other one's bent behind you, as you can see, try to keep your back straight and lean into it. Even just like this, with my back straight, I can still feel it pulling really nicely in my hamstring. And I would hold that for another 30 to 45 seconds. When I get to that point, I would start shifting back and forth with my weight on my heel for about 20 seconds. After that, I would do the same thing all over again. So lunge, 30 to 45 seconds. Back, back straight, leaning into it, 30 to 45 seconds. 20 seconds, rocking back on, back on forth, back and forth. And I would do that, that whole cycle, twice on each leg. But what I would basically do is bring my leg forward. So it was my knee popping, I'm old. Uh, bend it and kind of just go into it and lean up. So basically my leg is bent out in front of me. My other leg is behind. You're gonna feel some of a pull right here and a little bit kind of on your back butt cheek on the right side, but mostly it's right here. And as I get more stretched out, I can usually go deeper into it. As you can see, I'm kind of like off the ground a little bit this morning because I haven't done the rest of the stretches yet. But I would usually hold this for, if I can, a minute, because honestly, this made a huge difference for me. So while I'm in that pigeon stretch, what I tend to do after holding it for a while and getting a good stretch in is I'm back in it and I bring my back leg up Hold on to it and pull a little bit. Not enough to that it hurts. You don't want to hurt yourself. Just enough to feel that stretch. And if you guys are pretty new to doing stretches, I would not do that particular part yet. Wait till you feel a little more limber and a little more comfortable because you never want to pull anything so hard that you are actually injuring yourself. So take it easy. Whatever level you are at right now, Start there <laughs> and just go one step at a time. I didn't add that particular step in until I would say, oh geez, what did I add that in? Mid-December, I believe, because I've been working on this since October. But those are the main stretches that I've been doing in addition to my regular stretches. But those are the ones that I added in that made the biggest difference for me. And if you guys do decide to do your own splits journey, oh my gosh, tell me how it's going because I want to know everything. Now, as I mentioned, I started this in October. And when I started, I was about four inches off the ground. And it was pretty slow going. I was very frustrated just because I was like, you know, I used to be able to just like, boom, drop into these on the floor. It was like my party trick. I was so proud. And now it's, well, it was a struggle uh, <laughs> when I started. So I was a little discouraged at first, but I was like, you know what? Even weight loss doesn't happen overnight. I have to be willing to put the work in. So that's what I did with the splits. In about a month's time frame, I went from about four inches off the ground down to three. And my original goal was just to be able to do the splits on my left leg because that is my, I'm left-handed. That's my predominant foot that I use for everything. That is generally the leg that I'm more flexible on. And so I was like, okay, if I can get the right leg too, awesome. But chances are it's probably gonna be my left leg. And so I would feel my left leg every time I went down into the splits. And right as around the time, I think it was about a month, month and a half in, I was closer to three inches off the ground. And so I was like, okay, awesome. This is progress. I'm going somewhere. And then I don't know what happened, but I messed up my hamstring on the left side. I had been biking a lot more often. I'd been going for walks a lot more often. And I don't know if I just went overkill or if I tweaked something. But it got very, very tight. And when I would stretch, it just did not want to give. And I'm still at the point in physical therapy school where I'm just learning stuff. So I didn't know how to like PT myself yet. <laughs> and so I tried to just take it a little bit easier on that leg and not push it too hard because I didn't want to pull anything or strain anything worse than I did. But it put me back a little bit. You can see in the videos of me trying to do the splits that it started making progress and then kind of stopped and I kind of got worse for a while and then it started making progress again. Thankfully, after about two months, it seemed like my leg chilled out enough and just whatever was going wrong with it stopped, thank goodness, and I was able to continue stretching. And lo and behold, this week, right before our crazy Texas snowmageddon, 
I finally got to the ground. I had one day, like the week prior, where I was like, this close! I was like, come on! But not quite. And then, it finally happened. I was finally on the ground, and this was after a very long stretching session. But it happened, y'all. Like, I can do the splits. I am so excited. And let me just show you the video right now. Like, oh. So you can see there, I got all the way down to the ground on my left leg. I cannot hold it very long at this point, so I still plan on continuing the stretches. It's not just a, oh, okay, I did it, now I'm done forever. I wanna consistently be able to do the splits, and I would really like to be able to hold that for quite a while to where it's comfortable versus just tight. But this is just the first step, and I am very excited. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that short little tidbit there. I just wanna let you know that, first of all, you better be loving your body no matter what size you are. You do not have to wait until you're at your goal weight to do so. But if you have a fitness goal, girl, boy, whoever, go for it. It is okay. Just do your research, see how you can do whatever those goals are safely, talk to your doctor if you need to, and work your buns off. It might take a while, but it is 100% worth it because you know what? I'm fat, but I'm also flexible and it's awesome. Now, the very important part, of course, is if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down below and please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And frankly, I would love to know what you guys are doing. What are your fitness goals right now? Why don't you tell me below and I want to see what you're working towards. So I will see you guys hopefully next Friday, but until then, Bye bye. That's right, lovely people. Texas is in the middle of Snowmageddon. You can see all that whiteness out there. It is crazy. And let me tell you, we are not prepared.